Good day and welcome to Mission Control Houston, where a team of flight controllers is watching over the systems aboard the International Space Station in support of the Expedition 34 crew in orbit. Today, uh, the crew is focusing on experiments that uh, once again look at plumbing concepts for future spacecraft using surface tension to move fluids instead of gravity. And also working on an experiment on how liquids with magnetic suspended solids might be used as smart fluids for mechanical purposes. Tom Marshburn worked with the capillary flow experiment three. Uh, that work is starting new experiments on uh, flows in weird containers that can passively, passively separate fluid. The researchers at the Portland State University in Oregon intend to use the results to help guide development of new systems for spacecraft that make plumbing a lot more like earth plumbing, where the effects of surface tension replace the role of gravity. Chris Hadfield uh, worked with the colloid experiment that looks at how solids suspended in fluids called investigating the structure of paramagnetic aggregates from colloidal emulsions two, three Researchers at the University of Delaware will obtain data on magnetorheological fluids, and those are fluids that change properties in response to magnetic fields that could be used to develop new brake systems and robotics, uh, essentially making them smart liquids. Hadfield also had some time to work on uh, inventory management to get ready for the next SpaceX Dragon cargo ship. Crew also is continuing work on uh, servicing spacewalk suits with minimal or no interaction with mission control. Part of a, a demonstration called the ISS as Testbed for Analog Research, or ISTAR, and they're working with uh, extravehicular mobility unit cooling loops, primarily uh, Tom Marshburn, subdividing the tasks uh, beyond the normal blocks of time that would have been scheduled for that uh, on a normal type of thing where Mission Control watched over their shoulders. Yesterday, the crew did a fluid loop scrub to clean the lines and uh, began work and is continuing today on adding iodine to the cooling water to prevent buildups that could clog the lines. The idea of the whole thing is to develop procedures uh, that are much more refined and would, in the future, allow crews to complete uh, the work uh, without a lot of interaction with mission control, which would be very important for uh, long-duration missions to distant uh, uh, places like uh, meteor uh, like asteroids or other planets such as Mars where the communication delays start to become a problem. Kevin Ford uh, collected hardware from the Amin swing bed today in preparation for its periodic maintenance. Researchers are evaluating how well the experimental vacuum regenerated amine system can effectively room, remove excess carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, helping out the uh, other carbon dioxide removal systems. Ford also has taken digital photos of the various payload racks on the station to document any configuration changes for the payload operations center people at the Marshall Space Flight Center in Huntsville, Alabama, which coordinates all of the research on board the space station. And the Russians Novitsky, Torelkin, and Romanenko also work with a variety of their experiments uh, and some station maintenance tasks. Romanenko routed some communication cables to get ready for the arrival of the next European automatic transfer vehicle later this year. Torelkin worked with the relaxation experiment that makes ultraviolet spectrometer observations of the reactions in the xenon plasma from firings of two plasma contactor units that are on the outside of the space station's truss. And Novitsky worked on some headset maintenance. Outside the space station, the robotics flight controllers in Houston, backed up by their Canadian counterparts near Montreal, have been using Canadarm2 and the Dexter Fine Manipulator system to move some spare equipment replacement units around. The slow but deliberate work by the robotics officers resulted yesterday in the transfer of a failed main bus switching unit from its temporary stowage location on external stowage platform 2 outside the Quest airlock over to external logistics carrier 2 which is on the starboard truss. Uh, that failed uh, device was replaced last summer during spacewalks by Expedition 33, Sunny Williams, and Aki Hoshide. Today, the ground robotics experts are going to be transferring a cargo transport container from external logistics carrier 2 and installing it on uh, Dexter's uh, temporary equipment holder. And then Wednesday, they'll move a uh, direct current switching unit from external storage platform 2 over to external logistics carrier 2. And then Thursday, they'll be stowing the uh, Dexter unit on the mobile base switching uh, unit. Anyway, a very busy week of robotic operations guided by folks here on the ground, freeing the crew on orbit uh, for all of the uh, up-close and personal research that needs to be conducted aboard the space station.